big trip for a local volleyball team. Yeah, considering uh, when they started off the year, they weren't doing so well. A little young team, but they're getting better. Yeah, now you might say the Edison Community College volleyball team is looking to state its case. ECC struggled at the start of the season with a young lineup, but the Lady Bucks have battled back to nail down a spot in the state tournament, which begins on November 9th in Miami. This will be the third time in five years Edison will be going after a state title, but it will not be easy. Coach Kelly Botner's team will have to tangle with two teams from its own conference in the tournament, Miami-Dade South and Miami-Dade Wolfson, both nationally ranked. But hey, with a young team like Edison's, you have to believe anything can happen once you get to state. Um, when it's time to play and, and you're on the court and you rise to the occasion, you know, I, I believe that, you know, you can beat anybody if you really have the heart and soul and, and put everything into it. You, know, you just got to go for everything. Well, the Lady Bucks still have a few more games to go before they go for everything. They'll host Miami-Dade South Thursday night at 7 at Gresham Gym. Tonight at 11, we'll take a look at the Bucks basketball team. This could be a pretty good year for Hugh Thimler and company over at ECC. Well, the number one team in the Wink TV Top 10 High School Football Poll has made it look easy so far, but, you know, staying on top is always the hard part. So the Clueston Tigers will have to scratch and claw to keep their ranking the last month of the season. And back to work after an off week, Clueston's getting ready to take on Laley. The Tigers have three of their last four games at home. They're 6-0 and right now, but don't try to tell Al Morrell that another undefeated season is in the books already. We have to go to Laley, and those are two big district games. Then we got Glade Central here at home, and that's always a battle. Fort Pierce Central is a heck of a football team. They're very strong. And uh, we finish it out with Cypress as another team that can be very explosive. So uh, we're going to have to continue to play real good football, you know, every week. There's no other way around that. Also in this week's top 10 schedule, Mariners home game with the Sterile will be a 2 o'clock kickoff on Friday. That's been moved because of the encephalitis alert. And we'll pass along all the rescheduled games as soon as we hear of them. And you could say the Cleveland Browns are going to the dogs, but Carson is not happy about what happened last night in Cleveland. Neither is Bernie Kosar because they got drilled by the Cincinnati Bengals. You may wonder, why are we seeing Bernie and not hearing from him? Well, because sometimes these things just happen in the land of television. But I'll tell you, Boomer Esiason had a pretty good night. The Browns are going nowhere. They may be going to the dogs because they're not going to the playoffs because Cincinnati beat them 34-13 last night. It wasn't pretty. You know, we have a lot of Browns fans around here. Yes. And we have a lot of Reds fans next to you, but we have a lot of Browns <laughs> fans. Maybe fewer than we used to the way they're off to a 2-5 and five start. Oh, well. Thanks, Thanks Kat. Kat.